Before the dawn of history, ever since the first man discovered his soul, he has struggled against the forces that sought to enslave him. He saw the awful power of nature arrayed against him. The evil eye of the lightning, the terrifying voice of the thunder, the shrieking wind-filled darkness, enslaving his mind with shackles of fear. Fear bred superstition, blinding his reason. He was ridden by a host of devil gods. Human dignity perished on the altar of idolatry. And tyranny rose, grinding the human spirit beneath the conqueror's heel. But deep in man's heart still burned the unquenchable will for freedom. When this divine spark flames in the soul of some mortal, whether priest or soldier, artist or patriot, lover or statesman, his deeds have changed the course of human events, and his name survives the ages. In the village of Zora, in the land of Dan, 1,000 years before the birth of Christ, lived such a man. In him, the elements had fused greatness and weakness, strength and folly. But with these was a bold dream, liberty for his nation. The man's name was Samson. For 40 years, the Philistines had held his people in bondage. <laughs> 